So the next step is to calculate slope of the area. In order to do this, we, the, we need again a digital elevation model image. This image, in my case, eight image, which we already used fill operation with our model builder, if you remember. So just uh, add uh, this uh, fill image, this one, to uh, the data frame. And uh, we should also uh, make one image from them. So again, we will need to use mo mosaic. So raster, raster data set, mosaic uh, to new raster open and just again drag all the images, just all image uh, to the mo mosaic to new raster tool, change the output location, just for instance this place, uh, give the name for instance mosaic fill that TIF for instance a spatial reference is, uh, is uh, optional and here you should change it to unsigned 16 bit because uh, fill operations is unsigned 16 bit not 8 bit so number of bands one and uh, this one is optional so place uh, again uh, folder name uh, unsigned 16 bit number of bands one and this one so uh, this is my mosaic Let's see you can see that it's one image now eight images were merged into one and then, and now I can calculate the slope of the area so I will go to spatial analysis tool surface slope and I will take this mosaic fill so I can change the name here so uh, output measurement in degrees methods uh, is uh, planar planar is a calculation will be performed on a projected flat plane using a 3d coordinates uh, default method so uh, z factor is one planar degrees so at first we will calculate in degrees and then we should uh, co convert it into radians so i'll pause here uh, let's so let's calculate slope. So this is my slope. Let's change it to color and so uh, see that these areas are high slopes, uh, very high, and these areas are flat mostly. And uh, the next step will be to convert it into radians because so far it's in degrees. We need to convert it into radians so nobody uh, see it because nobody uh, mentioned it uh, but uh, in order to calculate uh, sinus of the slope for LS factor we need at first convert slopes into radians and then ex uh, derive sinus of the slope because in other case uh, there will be uh, empty cells a lot of empty cells in your output LS factor so how we can convert it into radians from degrees so you can write here type here degrees into radians it's this number so i just copy here and let's go to the raster calculator so it's in spatial analysis tools uh, Hey guys, if you liked the video, please consider yeah, supporting the channel by purchasing later. online courses via my Udemy's so profile, JS uh, Lab. Slope. Here you can find multiple so, uh, courses regarding JS remote sensing. The link to the profile and is below. Sinus. can delete this one. Sinus uh, of the slope, just click and drag and multiply to this number because this will convert it into uh, into um, radians sinus slope radians let's click OK or Uh, this here should be a uh, dot not a comma so now it's calculating so
so this is the sinus of the slope in, uh, so uh, now we have flow accumulation uh, sinus of the slope this values and we should also find a uh, cell size so far it's in uh, we can just go to properties find out that this is the cell size but this is not the cell size we need because it's in uh, uh, VGS 84 we need to convert it into UTM format uh, uh, before processing because it will uh, convert it into meters uh, uh, cell size into meters square meters so I will stop the video here and let's reproject it from the next video hey guys if you like the video please consider supporting the channel by purchasing online courses via my Udemy's profile JS lab here you can find multiple courses regarding JS remote sensing the link to the profile is below